fires. Doug, uh, look, nobody comes out of uh, the pandemic uh, looking particularly good. Donald Trump clearly made some mistakes. Joe Biden clearly made some mistakes, talking about uh, the president's decision to close, to shut off travel from, from China. I guess the question is why the focus on Dr. Fauci? And if you can, make the strongest case you can as to why Dr. Fauci should somehow be held accountable here. Well, everybody should be accountable. You know, this is a situation that we basically haven't dealt with in over 100 years uh, with, the, with the Spanish flu in, in the previous century. So mistakes are going to be made. This is a first time dealing with a global pandemic for everyone involved. Uh, but what we've seen, and you, you mentioned this earlier, is there's been a politicization of everything around COVID. So everything has to be somebody else's fault. That's also been weaponized. And I think one of the, one of the problems in this situation is when somebody is as deified um, in the American popular culture as Dr. Fauci has, somebody I have great respect for, when they're deified with all of the Fauci Fauci cocktails and the Dr. Fauci t-shirts and murals and hashtags and bobbleheads, it's going to create a backlash among people who are on the other side who want to defend President Trump, want to defend Republicans in Congress. He then becomes a very easy target because he's seemingly everywhere. So it's not surprising that we'd see some kind of a backlash. The reality is the science then gets lost in that conversation. And what we should be talking about about is what were the origins um, of this um, of this pandemic that gets lost and silenced. And I would say, you know, if it weren't for the work that, as Marie uh, pointed out from the intelligence community, uh, but also um, Josh Rogan at The Washington Post, who has been dogged in in having this um, come out, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. We need to get to the bottom of what happened so we can prevent the next one from happening. But but and you're, you're here as a former Republican official. I guess what I don't understand is what is it that Dr. Fauci supposedly did wrong, uh, and, and particularly with regard to the origins? He said he believed it was more likely that it was a naturally occurring phenomenon than a lab leak. We still have no hard evidence that it was a lab leak, and there was this $600,000 uh, grant, uh, money that went to the Wuhan lab, but it, and, and, you know, and, and I, there seemed to be no hard evidence it was used for gain of function or to somehow weaponize the, the virus, what's the hard evidence against Fauci, Doug? Well, I don't think there is a lot of hard evidence. I think it's let's ascribe blame and then find the evidence that, that suits our argument when we do later. Unfortunately, that's a lot of what happens in Washington, D.C. right now. And if you look at every House or Senate um, hearing that Dr. Fauci's out, it becomes very contentious very quickly, if not immediately. And we know beforehand that certain senators, certain members of Congress are going to use them as a punching bag. Unfortunately, I don't think that helps us get to the bottom uh, of the information that we need.